The Home Secretary is proposing new laws to restrict the use of tents by homeless people, arguing that many of them see it as a lifestyle choice. Christ. It won't be long until she's banning the big issue for being an extremist publication. To me, a lifestyle choice is a Marks and Spencer's king-size duvet set. It's Starbucks or Costa. Reading a newspaper whilst taking a shit? Yes or no. Those are lifestyle choices. When asked, as a child, what do you want to be when you grow up? No one has ever said, I want to live in a tent in a big scary city and spend my days and nights cold, hungry and terrified whilst begging for small change. The majority of people sleeping rough have serious mental health issues, including obviously addiction. They're ill! They might make the place look a bit untidy, but they also deserve our help. And with one flick of a witch's tit, Braverman just washed her hands of any responsibility. Vicious, ignorant nonsense. It's nothing to do with social care being decimated in the last decade. No, it's lefty woke charities handing out tents, blankets and soup that are throwing the country to the dogs. It's got nothing to do with a self-inflicted housing crisis born of unbridled greed and apathy. It's foreigners again causing all the poverty. I mean, who is this for? Which voter, which voter who's maybe thinking about voting Tory? Sorry, you're, you're stopping charities giving tents to the homeless. Where do I sign? Surely most people, even if they do read the Daily Fucking Express, surely most people think Suella Braverman is just a bit fucking gross. She's fucking gross, full of hate and bile and lies, just lies and filth, utter filth filth that comes out of that monster's mouth. She claims child grooming gangs are almost all British Pakistani men when her own home office says that's just simply not true. Why make that up? Why make that up? Why brand planned peaceful protests as hate marches? Hate marches? I mean, they're calling for a ceasefire. You might not agree with them, but, but why pretend they're planning to take a dump on the cenotaph when you know full well the protest goes, it goes nowhere near the cenotaph. Why are you making that up? Why use hate and fear as a weapon? She's not just one of these populists that dog whistles to the extremists. She is an extremist. She doesn't just embolden the far right with her spicy rhetoric. She is the far right, as far right as any of the far right European leaders that the BBC routinely calls far right. She is a nasty, divisive, lying, far right extremist provocateur at the heart of our government. And it's about time the BBC started saying so. One of the most dangerous frontline politicians in my lifetime. A disgusting, human being and she runs the fucking home office and and she could very well be the next leader of the conservative party and therefore a potential future leader of the country and if that happens well bang goes my knighthood sorry yeah sorry where was i got a bit carried away there yeah <clears throat> The Home Secretary is proposing new laws to restrict the use of tents by homeless people, arguing that many of them see it as a lifestyle choice.